morning, Banks Trail. I'm Walker. And I'm Abby. And welcome to The Howl. A few days ago, our broadcasting students did a national competition where they had to create either a PSA or a spot feature. First up, Jacqueline with PSA. for teaching us how to connect, respect, and protect. Let's see how the other teams interpreted it. Today, technology can save animals' lives. Scientists have created laboratories where animals can be tested. These tests can improve animals' health and even save their lives. Stop animal abuse today. Not everybody did a PSA. Some did a spot feature. The two teams used the topic of the United Nations to create eye-opening stories. In times of trouble, countries alike come together as one, as a United Nation. In a small town called Fort Mill, there is a veterans memorial honoring all soldiers who sacrificed their lives for our country. We are lucky enough to get Johnny Holmes to speak about his journey in war. He expresses his pain and sorrow. What was it like coming home? That's a hard one. Uh, very bitter. The, as a whole, the American people seem to be very much against the war and against the soldiers. Uh, here in Fort Mill, no, they had no problem. But before I got here, uh, there was a lot of uh, spitting, a lot of uh, degrading, a lot of comments, and a lot of anger on both sides. Well, more or less, uh, as a whole, the majority of the, the young soldiers were local people. And so, naturally, the local people supported their soldiers. And by doing that, the family members or whatever, they supported uh, the rest of them too. So the nation in it, as a, as a whole, took up and backed the soldiers. They didn't like the war necessarily, but they backed the, the ones that was fighting. What effect did the war have on you? Well, naturally, uh, I lost a lot of friends. Uh, a little bit angry against the country for not letting us win when I think we could have. As a matter of fact, I know we could have, and we were winning it. But it, it really hurt inside to know that as a whole, the country was not united and stood behind 
the soldiers that fought. Together as a nation, we are united as one. This has been Julia Laco reporting for Student Television Network. Now this is the last spot feature that was entered into the competition. This world in which we live in has never seen peace. We walk down the streets of the city and we see criminals, liars, and cheats because that's the world we were all born into and one we must learn to live in. Society has found itself resourceful, finding friends, support, love, and passion. But one thing that seems difficult to find is acceptance. The power of acceptance brings the world reliability and a sense of trust, of confidence and pride in the people of which we are. But how are we supposed to find that concrete part of ourselves when everyone simply sees the cracks? Our flaws. One so-called flaw many people can't ignore is their sexuality. For some would say love is the most important thing in the world. Without love, nothing truly matters. These flaws are something that everyone must face, but some can't. So ask yourself, is it so hard to accept something they can't change? We've gathered further insult on the flaws of which have changed many people's lives, including Mayor of Houston, Anise Parker. But in terms of my, my work life, I was afraid of a lot of things. I spent 20 years working in the oil and gas industry before I went into politics. I was afraid of coming out. I was afraid of losing my job. But I was an activist, so I pushed through it. Anise is a large supporter of the LGBTQ community and is happily married to her wife with four adopted children. Even through the tough times of unacceptance, Anise has found unity and support to get to the place where she is now. She's shown great leadership and bravery to the LGBTQ community simply by accepting herself. There are certainly things that were more difficult because I uh, was out. It has not made it easy in politics. In fact, I'm the first openly gay or lesbian mayor of a major American city. Another advocate of the community is Courtney Canelli, an open lesbian who's decided to take a different route in her life. Oh yeah, there's been a lot of positive changes. Um, there's a lot, a lot more awesome weddings uh, to go to. <laughs> um, People are just more comfortable being being who they who, who they are, and you're actually surprised by some of the people who uh, support you that you didn't think that uh, did beforehand. But is someone's sexuality truly a flaw? Some would say someone's sexual preference is in no way correlated with their personality or self worth. Yet some would oppose this point. Either way, as of June 26, 2015, gay marriage was legalized in the U.S. Ever since that day, thousands of people have started their families and binded their love officially. This just goes to show how America is developing. Millennials have passed, each having a personal prejudice against people with an indifference towards each other's, whether it be their gender, race, or even religion. But as we advance as a whole, we are learning to become comfortable with those who are different, sexuality and all. Whether you've noticed or not, we are becoming more and more advanced in our ways of thinking, stopping the insensitivity to the minority, and taking a step at a time to become one bigger and better united nation. For Student Television Network, this has been Rebecca Santana.
Well, that's all the time we have for today. Have a great long weekend. Bye!